Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we are going to solve one of the best quintic equations so far. Equation is 32 x power 5 minus 40 x power 3 plus 10 x equal to 1. Let me solve this problem using trigonometry because LHS is it is looking like cos 5 alpha or cos 5 theta formula. So let me let me derive cos 5 theta first. So there are two ways possible to find out cos 5 theta because this LHS is looking like formula of something like cos 5 theta. So cos 5 theta can be solved using two ways. Either you can write it is cos 2 theta plus 3 theta. Simply apply the formula of cos A plus B. So we can write cos 2 theta cos a cos b cos 3 theta minus sin a sin b sin 2 theta sin 3 theta okay and then we will apply sin 3 theta formula 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a cos 3 theta formula 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a and after that we will expand we will get answer i am using complex number how it is cos 5 theta would be the real part of cos theta plus i sin theta whole power 5. Demovi's theorem I am targeting actually. Now in this expansion I need because of power 5 I need that coefficient so Pascal triangle 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 and last row that is 1 5 10 10, 5, 1. So coefficients are ready. Now we have to expand this. Let's expand. So I will write cos power 5 theta plus now coefficient 1 is over. Now 5 will come. 5 decrement in the power cos power 4 theta and second term will come with the increasing order. Done. Then I will write third coefficient that is 10 decrement in the power of cos. So it will become cos cube. Then I will write i sin theta whole square. Then I will write plus 10 again cos square theta i sin theta whole cube. Now two terms are left 5 and 1 coefficient 5 and 1 10 is over. So 5 I will write cos theta only and i sin theta whole power 2 is it 3 4 whole power 4 increasing order and last term we will write that is cos term won't come i sin theta whole power 5 done. Now target is real part. So from where we will be having real part? First term. Clear? First term and see where i won't come. Third term, this term, i square minus 1. So i will not come. And if you will check second last term, i power 4, that will give us 1. So if I will collect all the three terms, then our RHS is finalized. So I will write cos power 5 theta minus 10 cos cube theta sin square theta. I square is minus 1. Okay. Here I am putting I square negative 1. And last term, second last term of 5 cos theta sin power 4 theta. Okay. I power 4 is 1. Let me write here. Now I will write only one thing. In sin square place, I will write 1 minus cos square theta. Okay. And sin power 4. Sin square we know. 1 minus cos square. So whole square. So I will write 1 minus cos square theta. This is sin square theta. Whole square rest I will expand. What I am getting 
after simply expanding this by putting this formula i will get 16 cos power 5 theta minus 20 cos power cos power 3 theta plus 5 cos theta this much i will get cos 5 theta now why i have used this see lhs our our quintic equations left hand side once i will take two common then it is exactly matching with substitution x is equal to cos theta okay so this is nothing but 16 cos power 5 theta minus 20 cos cube theta plus 5 cos theta it is cos 5 theta formula that's why we have used this now let's solve i will take two common from our equation this equation so what i will get 16 x power 5 minus 20 x power 3 plus 5 x and right hand side is as it is 1 now let's give substitution so i will write here x is equal to cos theta okay so it will become 2 now see 16 cos power 5 theta minus 20 cos q theta plus 5 cos theta equal to 1 now what is this this is cos 5 theta this was our what it would be equal to half okay now we will find out general solution we know this is cos of pi by 3 cos 60 half so if we will write the general solution i will write 5 theta is equal to 2k pi plus minus pi over 3 because pi over 3 is lying in between 0 and pi okay so this is our general solution where k belongs to integer now how we will solve this let's do it by considering k common we, we can take pi common out so i will write in this manner see uh, first i will write theta divide by 5 so 2k pi over 5 plus minus pi over 15 done now i will take multiply denominator numerator by 3 for the first term so it will become 6k plus minus 1 pi over 15 up to this point everything is okay now k equal to 0 1 2 we are going to put because this is quintic equation and we have to find out five solution only so i am going to put k equal to 1 2 3 and remember our substitution is x is equal to cos theta from here we will find out theta first then we are going to put into this equation substitution okay or better is to write here itself x is equal to cos 6k plus minus 1 pi over 15 k equal to 0 1 2 so let's put the value directly okay now i am putting k equal to 0 so what i will be getting let me write 0 so it would be cos in place of k if i will put 0 so 0 plus minus 1 times pi by 15 so if i will calculate this value then it is cos 12 degree pi is 180 degree 180 over 15 so that is cos 12 degree now let's find out next value by putting k equal to 1 so k equal to 1 if i will put so it will become cos plus sign then i will write directly cos 7 pi over 15 and if i will take minus sign then it will become cos 5 pi over 15 okay so cos 7 pi over 15 if you will check so 12 times 7 cos 84 degrees 
and 5 pi over six, uh, 15 is cos pi over 3 cos 60. So it will be half or I can write cos 60. Done. Now by putting k equal to 2, what I will be having? I will get x2, let me write. I will get cos 13 pi once I will take plus sign. 13 pi over 15 and if I will take minus sign, then I will be having 11 pi over 15. In degrees, if you want to write, then it will become cos 156 degrees. And this angle would be cos 132 degrees. So this is our answer or if you want to write in acute angle form, then I can write minus 24 degree and it will become minus 48 degree because of the identity that is cos pi minus theta equal to minus cos theta. So here we are having five roots of this quintic equation. Here are the roots. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to attempt algebraic method, please attempt and share your solution also. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.